Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you click the small plus sign next to the ODBC RDO folder, under the Make a New Connection folder within the Database Expert dialog box, you'll then see the ODBC RDO dialog box appear in which we make ODBC connections to data sources. Open Database Connectivity, or ODBC, is a standard used to connect to multiple types of data through a single application. Normally, when creating a direct connection to a specific type of data, you need a communication standard to access and use the data. Every different type of data source has a different method of direct access used to view its data. However, if the data source can also use ODBC as another communication standard, then any program that uses ODBC can access its data as well. Many vendors who create database management systems and other types of data-driven applications, such as spreadsheets, will provide ODBC drivers that allow other applications that can communicate using ODBC to access their data. This allows Crystal Reports to access almost any type of data that provides ODBC connectivity. So this would allow you to make ODBC connections to Access, Excel, Informix, Visual Fox Pro, Lotus Domino, Oracle, Sybase, SQL Server, and DB2 data sources. To set an ODBC data connection, use this dialog box. If you select the default Select Data Source option button, then you must select the desired type of data source to which you wish to make a connection from the list displayed below. You could also choose file, Find File DSN and then click the ellipsis mark button at the right end of the file DSN text box to launch a dialog box that will allow you to select the correct file DSN which you wish to use for the data connection. You can also choose enter connection string and then type your own connection string to use for the ODBC connection into the text box. Now once you've selected the desired connection type, down at the bottom click the next button to continue. In the next screen you're going to see the selected data source displayed. Below that, you can enter both the user ID and password needed to make the connection if it's required. And this screen really will change depending on the data source selected, so just fill in any additional information as required and click Finish when you're done. Depending on the type of data source selected, you may then have to choose the file to use for the data source in another dialog box if necessary. Once again, make any selections as needed and click OK to set the data connections. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.